All right, Dino here with Dino's Knives. Um, got in the Kershaw Vetter. Had it for a few days. Never even shipped a bunch out. Didn't even open the boxes. Um, and I usually don't do that. If I have a lot of orders coming, I don't sit there, open the boxes, look at the knife. I get them out. Um, when I'm done, I have some time. I'll get out, take a look at the knife. Um, by myself, you know, when I do these videos, I usually have the knife out, I look at it, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, the first thing I noticed with these is the boxes. You know, normal box, you got your Kershaw stripes, stuff like that. These are different. I don't know if this is what they're going to, but uh, I don't know, kind of a little different. I mean, you got your black wash box, you got, you know, your standard box, which they had when they changed the logo and everything, and now they got that. So I don't know if that's something that Kershaw will go to or not, but all right, getting back to the better. Great knife. I was, I was impressed um, with it. You know, these feels good in the hand just going off. Got a little deal here. You can tie one of your lanyards to uh, pocket clip reversible got both holes there um, probably an average carry I don't know they probably could go a little deeper with the a little bigger with the pocket clips but uh, I don't know they must like it very nice uh, blade you got a little serrations on top for a little leverage feels good in the hand though I mean, it's one that, you know, obviously you're buying, you know, a China made knife. Yeah, 8CR13 is, is what it is. I can't get it to focus. I need to invest in something new. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of a neat, neat little designs. Got the Kershaw right in there. It is a speed safe. Um... Nah, some people don't like them, but uh, yeah, it's not so bad. It's going to be, you know, you got your little coating on the blade. Everything kind of matches. It's kind of nice. You know, if you're, if you're looking to add something to your collection, it's definitely one you want to get in there. Uh, blade seems to be centered pretty good in the center. Or pretty decent there. I suppose you know you hold it at a different angle, you can make it look like anything. But ah, you got this little—I uh, don't know what that is—little groove out. I don't know if you can see that in the frame or not. I really don't know what that's for. I don't think you need it, but flips open nice. Oops, nice decent sized knife going to be fairly reasonable um, probably looking at for me I believe low 30s and then shipping I think I have first class shipping on it so four bucks for shipping uh, if you get other knives that have priority mail you can always add priority mail for $3.99 on my site I if if you already have a knife on there that has priority mail shipping Usually that's $7.15. If you kind of look at it, it'll automatically ship priority mail. You don't have to add it. If you add it and don't need it, I always take it off. I will always refund you that money. I don't believe in in literally screwing somebody out of shipping. Um, there are companies out there that do that, but I'm not one of them. You know, if it happens... You know, you're putting a bunch of knives together and you end up with eight, eight or nine dollars shipping priority mail. Um, I'm not going to bring it down to seven fifteen, just because I usually by that time I put it in a different box and I have some extra costs in there. So it's kind of how I build it in. But uh, you're never going to pay deeply through me with shipping costs. But there you are with the Kershaw Vetter. Very nice knife. I know they got a, a few of them coming out more. I know they have the AM, um, the Almars, 
It's supposed to be coming out in a few different colors. So we'll see on that one. Um, yeah, Dino here with Dino's Knives, and uh, happy shopping. Thank you.